Okay, here's part of the notes that you're not going to see on your assignment, but this is very critical. So when you're looking at the unit circle and a coordinate plane, uh, these are some relationships you need to understand. You need to understand that the x, y coordinate in the first quadrant are both positive. Well, think about the x quadrant, I mean the x coordinate as cosine, I'll tell you why. So if this is the theta, the adjacent side is the cosine side, the opposite side is the sine side, opposite over hypotenuse. So in the first quadrant, both cosine and sine are positive. In the second quadrant, because here the x-axis is negative, the cosine is negative, the sine is positive. In the third quadrant, both cosine and sine are negative. And, and think about it, if both of them are negative or both of them are positive, that's when tangent is going to be positive. Because remember, to have a positive number, if you're dividing or multiplying, both the signs need to be the same. And then in the fourth quadrant, the, sine is, the cosine is positive, but we go down, so the sine is negative. So make a note, sine is positive, because sine is the height in the first and second quadrant. Cosine is positive. Cosine is the x value, so the x values are positive on this side of the y-axis. So that would be the first and the fourth quadrant. And then tangent and cotangent are positive whenever sine and cosine have the same signs, because it's tangent is, is sine over cosine or opposite over adjacent. So in the third quadrant and the first quadrants, when sine and cosine are both positive or sine and cosine are both negative, that's when tangent and cotangent will both be positive. All right, I just want to give you that, it's just a quick video explaining those relationships.